Hi. Hi, Silent. Oh, look at you. H-U-O-A out. Wow. And of course, out today. So. And all of that can be found on the H-U-O-A website. At our I actually place. just recently gave one of these bags to a friend. It's actually a, kind of a big canvas bag. Like this was the gift bag I gave it in and they were so happy. So those, those bags are awesome. They're so strong. Yeah, I've been using them a lot, actually. So hope you guys like my hat. And just letting you know, like John said, you can get it on the... I won't wear it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> is, I don't know. is there a female and a male hat? Or are they no, the actually, there are female male polos. So this is a woman's <laughs> polo. But yeah. um, the hats are all the same. Anyway, how are you doing, John? <laughs> Good. Do you know it's already June? In fact, it's... Wow, we're like almost entering the second week of June. And... Yeah, the year's going by way too fast. Way too but, fast, for sure. Uh, you know, I we're just glad that we have all of you folks joining us yet again. And you're probably wondering why is John on Yuntaku Live again? But uh, you know, because I like to. No, actually, we have a special guest. <laughs> we have a special guest that uh, from Okinawa that I've known a long time. We'll be introducing him in a little while. But before that, we have to bring on our superstar, our president. Patrick Miyashiro. <laughs> I'm on. The other I'm on? You yeah. are on, Patrick. Welcome to Hi, the show. Hi, to you, everyone. Thank you hey. for inviting me, John and Lynn, on this Yuntaku Live performance, a special performance of Momoro Miyagi performing. Uh, tonight, uh, Lynn and John gave me the opportunity, every, every Yuntaku, to kind of give a heads up as to what's going on with the HOA. So for the events happening on June of 2021, we're currently doing the Children's Day camp that's, that's ongoing right now at the Okinawa Center. But uh, coming up on June 17th will be a club development and sustainment workshop on how to energize your club and revitalize your club. <clears throat> so it, it'll yes. be done on June 17th. Uh, you need to register by June 14th, Monday. There's a link that you go on. You go on to Google Live and you type in HOA workshop and you click on and you can register. The other events that we have is a really important event that's happening on June 22nd. It's called Irenohi Tribute. It's, it talks about the Battle of Okinawa that happened in 1945. The co-chairs the, of the younger generation is co-chaired by Amanda Nita and Jacob Higa. And they're gonna be referencing the effects of the Battle of Okinawa in 1945 on the people of Okinawa and how it affects our younger generation. Um, as a side note, we have Lynn Mia here, our current, our past president, that she was going to be honored at the UJSH, United Japanese Society of Hawaii. Yeah. And member for 2021 for what she did in 2020, which was a, just the beginning of the COVID pandemic year and we were at yeah. We were at odds as to what we were going to do because we couldn't do our regular performance. So Lynn did a super job. I just want to let, let everybody know that she's being honored as an outstanding Kenya Kai member for HUA for 2021. Anyway, that's my deal for the, for, the, for, the, for the month. So I'm going to say goodbye with my Kachashi thing. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. And Thanks, you Pat. Home, okay. Yeah. Okay, bye, Pat. <laughs> Thank you, oh, Pat. Thank you. Great. Uh, it just makes me, you know, I, th I think about the first conversations I had with Pat during the pandemic when we were going, me, John, and Pat going, what, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? <laughs> right? And just to see how far we've yeah. come, right, is it, so exciting. Um, I do want to point out, you know, he met, and Pat mentioned that the um, Ire no Hi is really being led by Next Gen. And I want to thank uh, our team mm -hmm. who is who's helping leading um, with that. Um, it really is a joy, right? Especially, I think, uh, thank you, John. John, you know, is helping um, the, you know, coordinate and helping give a place and a voice to our younger generation to help put this together. So I'm really excited to see um, some of us, even us, we're like all oh, older, old, old timers now, hands off and and let the let the young young um, next gen twenty something year olds, um, you know, figure it out. Oh, yeah. so. I want to I want to echo your kudos to uh, especially Eric Nita, actually our mm -hmm. club development and sustainment chair, and you know, it was his idea to bring on all these kids. We want to call them they're young adults, but uh, you know they're well under the age of twenty five, <laughs> and 
taking on a big a big task. So stay tuned on June twenty second, so you can enjoy the the fruits of their labor. They're working really hard on on the Ire no Hi program for June twenty second. But right. here we are today, Yuntaku, episode forty two. Oh my gosh! Every time we say forty, right? It's like wow, forty two. Uh, in uh, we have a special guest star that we want to bring on right now, and he is all the way from Ishigaki, live from Ishigaki, Okinawa. Let's welcome Mamoru Miyagi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. He is a, a big star in Japan. He is. He has eleven albums out. He's been doing musical performances for the 20 plus years and oh, yeah, he has yeah. some fans all over the world. So another, so I'm super excited to have uh, Mamoru Miyagi on with us tonight. And you know, this is actually really, really rare and special that we get to hear him live tonight. But, but speaking of fans, his number one fan and you know, actually why he actually, uh, you know, came out to Hawaii for our Okinawa festival was Gladys. Tokunaga, Asa, Tokunaga Asao, and I know she's watching because she says that you make sure Mamoru knows that I watch, I mean, I listen to his CDs every day, every day. Gladys-san, Gladys-san wa ima mai nichi, mai nichi men kurume no naka de Mamoru Miyagi no CD ya music ga ongaku nagarete ru te, dakara ano, ze hi Gladys. Thank you, Gladys. I hope you're watching, Gladys. That was just for you, special for you. <laughs> you know, but that goes back, you know, uh, that was uh, Gladys's year that she was president elect back in 2001. And so she was the, uh, the festival chair and I was the program chair. And that's how I got to meet Mamoru, which was, again, wow, 20 years ago 20 yeah, years ago Mamoru. 20 years ago hi hi ne 10 years ago ah 20 years ago oh 20 years ago oh 20 years ago really so you know that was Mamoru's first time in hawaii and ah no 2001 年 wa hajimete hawaii ni kita ndo ka hajimete desu ne hajimete ah okinawa festival no tame ni kita toki so 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 oh exciting ah Ah, so there was a um this is before we'll get into this maybe a little bit later, but he's just talking about there was somebody from Hawaii who was in the NHK Nodojiman program, and you know, somebody uh saying Yaima, which was actually Gladys's husband, right? <laughs> yes, it was Charles. Charles, Charles Asao. Yes, Asao. And mm -hmm. uh, so because of that connection, he was actually contacted, and then you know, this all kind of the, the relationship from there, uh, this is probably right before festival, right the year before festival, and so it all kind of culminated in him coming to the festival in two thousand one. Yeah, so, I mean, we'll we'll, we'll talk about that when we get to uh, <laughs> you know. Hopefully, he'll sing that song for us tonight. But you know, I I met him in two thousand and one because he needed shoes. He came to Hawaii and he forgot his shoes, he, or at least you know shoes to walk around, and he wanted to go hiking, and so. We went all over looking for shoes because this Okinawan wears size 13 shoes. And oh, we were, oh, 13, 13 and a half shoes. So we were going all over. So, you know, look at that. He's almost as tall as Mufi. And the Mufi is six foot seven, right? Or six oh, foot six. Yeah. So wow. Mamoru, Mamoru is, you know, almost as tall as Mufi. And so, Moto and Honolulu Show Nandeskido, it's your 
。すごい。いや、this this photo was taken in 2006. 百八十三センチです。百八十三、八十超えてるなんだ。すごい、すごい。多分わたあの、he's probably the tallest uchinanju I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gotta be about six one or so. The um, well, he's only a little taller than me, I think. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah, I, I, I think I have a photo of yeah, him and I. Oh, what kind? Of... <laughs> See, yeah, I'm almost, I'm, I'm almost as tall as him. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, you know, for this picture, I had him stand on a box, but you know. Ah,、uh, hi, hi, hi. I see. I see <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we were looking, we went looking for shoes, and、um, you know. And, and throughout the years, I, I always go and visit him.、Uh, I even went to Ishigaki, where he was,、uh, you know,、um, already living in Ishigaki and and cooking. I think you can ask him about that later. And、uh, but he he of course joined us for our first ever virtual Okinawa festival last year. Hmm. Well, 20 years. Ah, no, 20 years 前から去年の初めてのバーチャル沖縄フェスティバルもあの参加してお願いねこれあの去年のフェスティバルも本当にえっ、ー、とありがとうですねあの助けてくれてえっ、ー、とビデオ沖縄から送ってくれてありがとうございましたでちょっと質問があるもあります靴はサイズ何センチなんか靴の話が出てきて足はそんなに28センチああそれはねオッケー<笑>ごめんな、ごちょっと聞きたかったんです。おお、but thank you ね、本当に thank you for for being part of this。久しぶりにね、僕もハワイとハワイの皆さんにお会いまあ映像を通してね、あのお会いできた、うん、僕僕の方もあの感謝しています。ありがとうございます。うん、well thank you he says you know no actually it's you know thank you to for letting him be a part of this、uh, virtual walking on festival last year so。Um, he said, No, thank you from, from him, from himself. So, the more honto me, I know, Tanushkata is ne, a to Hajimete no Bachwara Festival. The Karako Yufuni, Yuntak Live, a to Kore, Otoste, Moto Oki, Ne Bachwara Festival, Yaroyo, the Yutaka Kyonen, and a Dekiru, the Kimotika Detikan de, a to Tataiba, E Kotoa, Yapari, Iron Natokoro, Okinawa, like Ishigaki Kara, a to Koyufuni Live. なつなげることができるっていうのはすごいですね。はい、そうですね。ありがたいです。Thank you. We're all very thankful. Okay. You know, all those years that he came to Hawaii and performed on stage, so many people didn't get to really know him. And even at, during virtual Okinawa festival, so tonight is when we really get to, you know, have people know what Momoru Miyagi is all about. いや、えっ、ー、と今日はですね、もう何回も何回もあのマムルさんのあのまあ映像、ビデオとか演奏は見たことあるんだけど、はい、でも本当はあのマムルさんの人として、うん、えっ、ー、ともっと知りたいなということです。で、今日のユンタクライブです。はい、ということはちょっとあの昔のえっ、ー、ともう子供の頃からスタートしましょうか。うん、えっ、ー、と、What was your tell us about your early years and まああの生まれたところとか石垣についてちょっと教えてください。あえっ、ー、と生まれたところは石垣島で、うん、で、あのー、うちの父親がね、うん、学校の教員してたの。OK、so his father, he was born in 石垣 and his father was a teacher。で、一緒に、あのー、石垣だけじゃなくて、えー、西表島、小浜島とかね。Mm. Mm. So his father actually, not just Ishigaki, but、uh, you know the Yayama Islands, there's many islands, right? So his father used to travel from Iri- to Iriomote and Kohamajima and other places. So then, when he went to Kohamajima, he went to Kohamajima, and he went to Kohamajima, and he went to Kohamajima. So, this is the first time I've been here. Oh, okay. So, you. So, he, he learned,、um, learned Sanshin. There was a club in Kohamajima. 
小浜島。小浜島の中学校。うん、same, same, same, あの、ハリーセイ、same i s l a n d as 大地。いや、大地平田と同じ、小浜島。大地は小さかった。Oh. <laughs> 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 okay. Not the same time as Daichi, same island, though.、Right? Yes. Mohamajima,、yes. uh, there was a, he was in the middle school、uh, and they had a Sanshin club. And so for two years, he learned、uh, to play Sanshin. Then, I was going to go to Yayama Koko. Okay. So he, he went for, back from、uh, Kohamajima to Yayama high, Yayama high School, which is on the main island of Ishigaki. もうそれから三振はやらずにあのベースボールやる野球を。うん。有名だね。あれ。<笑> They're famous for baseball. So he actually didn't do 三振 and、um, actually focused more on baseball. ベースボール。In high school. 大学までベースボールをやって。うん。で、あの社会人になって会社員。うん。で会社員になってまたその時ねあの沖縄のねあのエイサーってわかるでしょ。はい。エイサー。エイサーチームに。の誘いがあって、それエイサーチームのこの三振と笛の担当ね、うんうん、をさせてもらって、またそれからこうさあの三振と触れるようになって、でその時にあのさっき言ったうちの親父がね病気で倒れてしまって、うんえー、まあずっと闘病入ったんですけど、その時に親父を励まそうと思って作った歌がヤイマと青森真珠っていう。わお。So,、uh, let me back up a little bit. So, in high school, he played baseball, and then he said he continued to play baseball in college. And then, you know, he graduated from college and, you know, joined the workforce. And while he was a young, you know, young adult,、uh, he also joined an ASA club. And for those of you who、um, don't know, like a lot of the ASA groups in Okinawa, there's different parts, right? The Odaiko.、Um, and the ASA club was the first time, Sanshin? Sanshin was the first time. Hue, Hue. Okay, so yeah.、Mm. So he played Sanshin and the, the flute、um, for the, most of the ASA clubs. You know, they usually always have live musicians.、Ooh. Yeah, Hue.、Uh, and、um, so, you know, he, he did that for a long time. And then、um, kind of, and then all of a sudden his father got sick. And so, in order to kind of, Encourage you know, his father to get well, and I know that his mother was also taking care of him. That's when he wrote、um, his, one of his most famous songs, Yaima. So, I was a little bit of 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 a l i t t So that's kind of how he became a musician. So he was still actually working at the time. I want to ask you a little bit about what kind of company you were working at? Ah, the insurance company. Insurance company. I'm really a real person. I'm a real person. I'm a real person. So he did sales for a, a publishing company. And、um, what kind of company did you work at? Okinawa is a real person. あ、西原町ね。西原出身です。えっ、ー、と、<笑>西原、so he was working on 沖縄、uh, mainland in、uh, 沖縄本島。うん、<笑> and,、um, <笑> and in 西原、and so he wasn't in Yayama, he wasn't in Ishigaki, you know, when his father was sick.、Um, and that's when he wrote、um, that song, Yayama, and it actually became a theme song for a commercial. えっと、その CM はどういう CM だったんですかえー、宅配会社。宅配会社、デリバリー、デリバリー、まあ、ロジスティックスのデリバリーコンパニー。そう、that song became the theme song for that commercial and that's when it really、uh, became popular. まあ、沖縄ではね、大きな宅配会社だったんで、テレビとラジオからも CM を毎日なんで、三つのアメリカンビデオがあります。三つ。3つ, 3つ,あ3つ、はい、3つの,あの沖縄の子会社。ああ、そう、there's a, there's a bigger company, 3つ、that's a,、um, logistics, we'll call it. And,、um, you know, so there, it was playing like every day in Okinawa. <laughs> もう毎日、ね、もう何回もね、一、ね、日中。そうか。そしたらね、その
そうしてるうちにあの千正夫さんっていう方千正夫さんはいはいはい演歌の,<笑>あのお電話があって<笑>、えー、僕に歌わせてくれないかということで八重山はねでそれで千さんが、えー、平成11年に全国発売した2000ごめんもう一回平成11年だから平成11年っていう<笑> yeah, so,、uh, oh, go ahead. 2000s, yeah. So he's talking、mm-hmm. about,、um, so he, you know, while this is happening, right? Eh, ano toki wa mada hataraite tan deska? Eh, ano, sen san kara l e n d a k a t a deke amo, dat s a r a s t e m a s Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say, by the time, so he got a phone call from this very famous、uh, Inca singer named Sen、uh, Masao. And he asked him, you know, he got a phone call from him and asked him, hey, w- would you allow me to sing your song? Yayama, Yayama, Yayama. And this is probably the early 2000s, yeah?、Uh, if not, I'm trying to think what year Heisei Eleven is. But,、um, you know, it's probably a big shock, right, to get a phone call from someone like that. And that's kind of how he,、um, and that helped really launch his career nationwide. So, go ahead, Yoni. Ano toki no den wa. えっ、ー、と、ちょっと、どういうふうに<笑><笑>なんかどんな人だったびっくりしたね。おぉ。ジェンジャスってことびっくりしたね。いや、but he was not only surprised. You know, in 2001, when he came to Hawaii, he said,、mm-hmm. you know, Masao-san has a house here in Kahala. And <笑> so, someday, me too, I'm gonna have a house here in Kahala. <笑>そうだね。もうこれ、this is like a, a many years ago, right? And so,、mm-hmm. um, it was covered by, you know, what we say cover. He did a popular Enka singer named,、um, like this co- records your song. It's a really big deal. And so, ね、あの、すごいですよね。うん、すごいすごい。普通の社会人から、えっ、ー、と。まあ、あの、たまたまね。ねご縁があって、まあ、センさんの耳にねこの歌が届いたっていうのはセンさんの友人がね沖縄の方にいてその友人がセンさんに僕の CD を送ったことそうなんですよ、うん、それを聞いてあの自分も歌いたいって言,った言い出したらしくて、うんえー、あそういうふうですよね So the way he、um... The Sen Masao heard the song is that his friend、um, is from Okinawa, right? And his, so his friend, his Okinawan friend, introduced him to this song, and that's when he heard it and he just really fell in love with it and asked if、um, you know, it, it was okay for him to record it. So, yeah, I'm sure everyone wants to hear some of your music. So, well, we've been talking about Yaima, so you、yes. have to play it for us. お願いしますし、今。<笑>はい。
That's my favorite, one of my favorite sing-along songs in the car as well, along with uh, Gladys. I'm, I like singing that car. I'm that in the car. あの、ちょっと聞きたいなんですけど、一応あのちょっと歌詞について、ちょっとあのもっとちょっと知りたいんですね。あのこのあの私が聞いたのはちょっとやっぱりさっき言ったんだけど、あのお父さんがえっとち
Um, and so he's kind of apologizing for not for not being able to to be there to care for them, and um, so that's kind of the meaning behind the song. To go to this. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
connection. And when you move away from your, your island, you always feel that sense of wanting to go back. And so eight years ago, actually, after this long journey of being away from Ishigaki, eight years ago, he returned back home. ということで、えーとはい、今、石垣で、えー、とライブハウスとかはあります、はい、今、ここ、僕のライブハウス。はい。<笑> so that's actually where he is right now, in his live house in 石垣、石垣市。はい。So, and, and appropriately named. そう、そのライブハウスの名前は島唄ライブバーやいます。はい。<笑> so the next time you are in、uh, 石垣 you have to visit the Shima Uta Dive Bar Yaima House Yaima ということですね。That's where he is right now and、um, 今コロナでちょっと難しいかな。なんかまだライブハウスはどうですかね。いやあの今沖縄本島と宮古島石垣島はまだまだこう数が多いよね。今、非常事態宣言の真っ只中で、6月の20日まで非常事態宣言で、で、えー、と飲食店も8時まではあのー、開けていいんだけどいや、夕方の8時までは開けていいけど、アルコールの提供はダメということで、だから飲食店がアルコール出さないので、商売にならないんで、ほとんどの店が今クローズしてます。Wow, that's tough.、Um, so, you know, it's been a really tough year, and o- Okinawa is actually under a state of emergency right now because their case, case numbers of COVID 19 have still、um, have actually spiked recently. And so they are still under a state of emergency, I believe, until late June,、uh, if I'm not mistaken,、um, which is really unfortunate. You know, I think we're lucky here in Hawaii where we're seeing things, you know, cases kind of leveling out, staying down. And things are slowly reopening, but unfortunately, Okinawa has gone back to、uh, a state of emergency. And so, unfortunately, bars and restaurants cannot, well, they can be open, he said, but only until 8 p.m. and they cannot drink alcohol. So, for a place like his,、um, it really doesn't make sense to be open if they can't serve alcohol. And so, it's been a very tough couple months. もう2ヶ月過ぎましたね。うん、でもその,その前も1ヶ月半ぐらい休んだり、うん、何回かを分けて休んでたけど、今は休んでるのはもう2ヶ月ちょっと過ぎてますね。わお、そう、you know it kind of like ours there was an open close open close だね。えっと。it's been a tough year and so he's right now it's been closed for a little over two months now so、うん、もうのできればねハワイの人みんなあっちに行きたいんだけど。<笑>今<笑>すぐ先週ね、うん、先週あのお仕事で大阪一回行ったんですよ。はい、おお、okay、一日だけ。Uh-huh. 先週ね、uh-huh. で。帰ってきたら、もう、えー、1週間はもう自宅待機。だからお,お袋もこうでデイサービスとか行けないんですよ。国内でもそうそう沖縄から。うん、わお、OK、うん。そうです。一回出たらもうダメなんですよ。ああ。一週間一週間。そう、they still have some quarantine rules in place, even for、um, domestic travel. So, you know, he, he said he went to Osaka for a, week,、uh, for a job, just for a day. 一日だけだったか大阪。大阪。大阪。He was in Osaka for a day, came back, and he has to、uh, quarantine、uh, for one week. So, いや、大変ですよね。そう、まあ、一番大変だから、あの、もう袋が施設に行けないっていうのが一番問題なんですよ。お、これもう一回。お母さんがね、お母さんが。あの、デイサービス。はいはいはい。電気屋に行けないんですよ。ああ、はい、はい。僕、僕と一緒にいるから。ああ。うん So, actually,、um, so because he, his mother you know, lives with them、um, and she cannot go to her day service because、uh, he has traveled and come back. So, she's not allowed to go to her day service for the whole week as well. So, that's actually the hardest part, he said. Wow. Good thing we get to share you with. 
the world on uh, Newtanku Live because uh, even though you're in quarantine, we sh- you get to share and talk to all of us. So, in quarantine, you know, he was talking about his father earlier, and I just wanted to um, uh, show everyone, you know, his, his family. He has two sisters. Uh, maybe we can bring up uh, his family photo. Family no. あの、写真はありますか<笑> ジョジョが最後。最後。and お母さん。あ、お母さん。今85歳。おお。すごい。まあ、うちの父だから多分すごい長生きすると思いますね。すごい。わあ、すごい、すごい。Thank you for sharing your family photos. You know, he he spoke about uh his uh Sen Masao uh yeah. you know covering his song Yaima, but he also covered another one of Mamoru song, which is very, very popular here in Hawaii. Uh, this is a song uh, that even the Hui Ola Limas hold special to their heart because they even choreographed a hula to this Aww. song. And I think Mamoru knows what this song is. You know, Hui Ola Lima ladies always dance with you at the Okinawa festivals. Uh, they can't wait for you to sing Mihayu. And so uh, you know, I would like him to explain uh, a little bit about that song. やっぱりハワイの沖縄県人会の皆さん so, I mean, Yaima to Ishani. Oh, Ishani. Coupling. So, coupling. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, he, um, Sen Masao covered both Yaima and Mihayu. Yes. So, Mihayu is a little bit of a question. Mihayu is a little bit of a question. あの、ま、僕がいた小浜島。うん。と、竹富島とかは、ミハイユですね。ミハイユ。ミハイユ、ミハイユ。ミハイユ。そうそうそうそう。オッケー、ミハイユ。あ、あとまた島々によって言葉
アメリカ人シムリワオムリタルウヤの品崎シムリスミにってねあの雨風をしのんで私のことを育ててくれた両親のことは一生忘れちゃいけませんよっていう。うん。教えと。あと、人やけらゆるまりだ、マリジョーギアネームだ、ルーシドドゥの三ツヤピラキコウ。人は生まれながらにしてみんな平等なんだよ。生まれた時はもうみんなね、あの何の差別もないんだよ。自分の道ってのは自分で切り開いていくもんだよっていう歌詞があるんですね。その2つをあのいただいて、えー、リバのミンファイルの歌詞の中に入れました。いいですね。これも何回も聞いたことある歌なんだけど、これを知って、また聞くとやっぱり違う感覚ですよね。<笑> so, let me,、uh, sorry, let me back up a little bit. So, the, the, the word ミファイル、ミファイル、in Ishi, in Yayama language. So, if you, you know, the language is Differ from island to island. And even within Yayama, when you go from Ishigaki to Taketomi to Kohamajima, it, it differs a little bit. And so it's either Mifayu or Mihayu,、um, slightly different. But the word means thank you. And he originally wrote this because、um, there, was an, there was an old man who used to make sanshin, and he really wanted to you know, show his gratitude、um, to this person. And he wanted to make sure this, this man, you know. Lived a nice long life, and it was really a, a song to express gratitude.、Um, and one thing that's special about it is that there is a within the Yayama Minyo, like there's a、um, many, many different songs within the Yayama, I'll, I'll call it culture.、Uh, is there's a song that everyone knows called Densa Bushi. And within Densa Bushi, there are two kind of phrases and、um, lyrics that he borrowed. And one was about.、Um, You know, you'll, you'll hear it. He kind of rattled it off. I won't, I won't repeat it, but it, it talked about you know, the things that you, you sh- always need to keep close to your heart, the things that your parents taught you,、uh, and keep them close to your heart, and don't ever forget them,、uh, things that you learn as a child. And then the other part of it is, you know, everyone,、uh, the other lyric that he borrowed from Den Sabushi was that you know, when everyone's born, you were all born equal.、Um, and so it's kind of up to you to, you know, Chart your own path and, and find what you love um, and, and um, really work your way up. And so, those are kind of two, two themes that he really liked、um, that really resonated with him. And so, he borrowed those and included them in Mifayu. So, wow, you know, it's like you said, Lynn,、um, you, know, you, you know the song, but then to hear the, the meaning behind it really changes it, you know, and the、yeah. next time you hear it. I didn't, I didn't know about Den Sabushi, and that's a very powerful song. I, I didn't know he had incorporated that into Mihayu. So, wow, that's, that's amazing.、Yeah. We want to hear it. So, yeah, you know, I'm going to get you as Mihayu. Thank、you 
John said, I, "I'll just repeat what I said earlier." But you do—you definitely have a different sense, right? When you when you hear the song, and you know that. Uh, I, I mean, I knew I, it meant thank you, but it's it's a lot more than that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and I'm sure there are a lot of ladies that stood up in their living rooms and were doing the hula to uh, Mifayi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for those of you watching, if you've never seen. Um, well, actually, I don't know. Pro you could probably Google it, and I'm sure somebody has uh, mm -hmm. our YouTube video. We have it somewhere in our in our uh, um, archives of um, our Huyo Lao Lima ladies dancing hula to that song. Eh, to yapari kita. If I you to kita ra, ano yapari koro arigato to yu imi wa wakatta nda kedo, demo kore motto fukai imi ga aru to yu desu yo ne. Tada no thank you dake janakute, eh to sugoi de tabu ano miteru. Karen Takara, right there. Yeah, I can already see them doing the move. So, you know, I'm glad they, they get to hear all the, all of his favorite songs, but, you know, um, we we're trying to figure out how many times he's been to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And Hawaii. it was actually... We can't, we can't quite figure it out, but how many times more Hawaii... Uh, Hawaii Okinawa Center? Oh, right at the Kin Garden Waterfall. I mean, not the Kin, the Takakura Garden Waterfall. Uh, you know, if I had shown all the pictures oh. that I've taken of him over the years, um, we'd be here all night. You know, this is another one of his number one fans, is Wayne Nakamoto. You know, he, uh, he was a, uh, you know, sort of took care of Coconut Island out in Kanyohi Bay. So uh, Mamoru even got to stay overnight there, and you know, look, he Where's even he let um, he even let Mamoru drive the boat. <laughs> it's probably a violation of some kind of rule, but that's okay. Coconut Island, right? You said Coconut hey, Island. Hey. island ナカモトさんはダイファン。今もあのFacebookでつながってるんだね。おお。He yeah, if I had, you know, all the pictures, but, you know, I had to include this one. Uh, this was, uh, you know, when, of course, whenever Momoru comes to Hawaii, my mom always 
uh, you know, had to hear him sing. And then this, this picture was actually taken in uh, Chatan. But, uh, you know, she was also a really big fan of uh, Mamoru as well. So uh, I just wanted to include this. Oh, that's a great photo of him. Look how tall he is. <laughs> but uh you know he he not only travels to hawaii i think he travels like he he mentioned he traveled to osaka he used to live in osaka but mm -hmm. he also has students all over maybe you might want to ask him about that そうですね。えっと、やっぱり沖縄でライブハウスはあるんだけど、でもやっぱりあちこちのえっと、日本の中であのやっぱり先大阪もいて、えっと、やっぱりえっと、とあの、三神も教えてるんですか?で、国内で
曲をあの欲しいということで、僕も依頼があったんですね。でそれでできたのが琉球ムーンという歌なんです、うん。作詞は僕じゃないんです。えー、木村さんという方が作詞をして、作曲は僕がやって,って、うん、栗中涼子ちゃんがでその後に僕の CD にも入ってます。So he actually wrote this song for、um, uh, the TV star, the drama series, Chura San 2, but it's actually written for、uh, Kurinaka Kyoko, who sang it.、Uh, and so he wanted, he, they wanted to make sure that it had Okinawan,、um, you know, it had Okinawan flavor, it had Okinawan flair to it.、Uh, he didn't write the lyrics, but he did want me to share that he,、um, you know, after it debuted and it, it ran during the drama, he was also able to include it on his CDs. So, thank you, Moon. Okay. Hey, okay.
Mamoru, even uh, Chokatsu, Chokatsu Tamayose from Sunrise is watching. Hey, hey, hey. Chokatsu Sunrise no. Tamayose san. <laughs> ano, Sunrise, eh, to. Oh, Sunrise, hi. Restaurant, restaurant. Hi, 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 hi. Chokatsu san ga, sugoi te. Ryukyu moon. Saiko. Oh, saiko. boy. Saiko, saiko. You know, um, we. It's amazing how fast time goes by. Not only this one、uh, hour that we've been talking, but also, like, like we said, 20 years, you know, since、uh, oh, Momoto and I first met. And I'm glad that he remains、uh, not only my friend, but a friend to all of us in Hawaii. And hopefully, now a lot more new fans、uh, around the world watching Yuntaku live. So I want to thank、uh, Momoto for joining us tonight. Yes. えー、と今日はやっぱり時間が結構早く過ぎましたけどやっぱりこのユンタクライブだけじゃなくてなんかこの20年もう20年超えてるんだね、えー、とマモルさんとジャンさんはなんか友達あになってハワイの皆さんもマモルさんはもう20年かかって、えー、といろんなあとライブがあの演奏が見てるのはあの楽しみにしてますねこの次の20年、うん、そして、えー、とやっぱりこのハワイの皆さんだけじゃなくて、なんか世界中の、えー、とユンタクライブを見てる人、えーと、これからマモルさんの曲をもっともっと知,あの知ってほしいあのアルバムを多分聞くと思いますね。<笑>新しい感が増えると思います。Yes. うん、年去年が、ね、25周年だったんですね、僕ね。去年が。うん、とても怖いですけど、うん。コロナでね、何もできないんで。So last year was actually his 25th anniversary be, you know,、um, as a musician, but because he couldn't do any performances or concerts or anything, he is hoping to put, in a, another,、um, put out another album very soon, next maybe in the next year.、So. Yeah. How about he? How about he、um, send us off with a, with a, a little bit of kachashi to, to end, the, end the evening? So, to wrap up tonight, I thought, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm Thank、you